good morning and welcome back to our channel welcome back to wednesday day date this is lisa i'm joe Lillian. and today we're going to manor farm in tamworth so no surprises well a little bit of a surprise because we didn't tell you before where we're going but we also want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for 1k subscribers so yesterday we hit that milestone we're grateful to all of you who have subscribed who have shared the videos and we're also grateful more than anything to God for getting us this far in the journey so come with us we hope you enjoy what we will bring today and we will see you when we get there wait just got an email quickly from Manor Farm Fruits we booked to pick strawberries mm -hmm. Good afternoon. We are delighted that you have booked to come here for your pick your own fruits today, but wanted to give you a quick update on our fruit availability. We currently have plenty of raspberries and blackberries ready for picking, but the availability of strawberries is very limited oh. for today and tomorrow as we are waiting for the next crop to ripen. Okay. This is due to being very busy in the last couple of days and the fruits just need time to ripen. They will be plentiful again in the next few days. However, we do have lots of ready-picked strawberries on sale in our shop. <laughs> ready-picked? Wow. Nah. Ready-picked strawberries are in the stores, in the supermarkets. And maybe we cheaper. Wanted the, yeah, the we experience. wanted the experience of picking our own. But anyway, we'll go, we'll experience it, and we'll tell you exactly what we think. Yeah. So see you when we get there. Okay. So we've just arrived at Manor Farm. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. We're going to check out what's there to be seen now. Thank you for visiting us from Stacy and the Strawberry Cabin team. Thanks for all your strawberries back. Yes, you got um, your email whilst we were on our way here. Uh, yeah, um, so um, we're weighing them also, so you don't need to pay this price here. When you've picked what you can find, on the way out you just weigh them up till over there and pay for them. However, we've got plenty of raspberries and blackberries, so if you wish to pick them, you can pay for them now and pick those. Or we can go and pick strawberries but just pay for what we what the weight yeah. is. Yeah, oh. but you can pay for raspberries and blackberries here because we've got plenty of those. Okay. But you can mix raspberries and blackberries together, yeah. Not, not strawberries. No. no. So let's just do strawberries. What do you think? You want to still do rest? Yeah. Okay. Pay for one punnet of. Yeah. Okay. Up one of those. Yeah. Do you want strawberries as well or no strawberries? You yeah. Still do strawberries. And then whatever you get, you still yeah. have for. Okay. Yeah. So that's for your raspberries and blackberries. Yeah. So it's for these nine pounds. Yeah. And that's for your Put strawberries. Yeah. So in a raspberry. Yeah. Right. So we are going to get strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries strawberries raspberries and blackberries but there's limited supply the normal thing is that you pick up on it of strawberries let me show you the that's the container so you pay nine pounds so you pay nine pound for this however they've said that they don't have enough strawberries they don't think so we'll have to just get whatever we can get of strawberries and, and pay for them. they'll wait and pay for that and then the same size container which is up on it we're going to do mix raspberries and blackberries and the cost for that will be nine pounds per punnet as well. So we'll see what we can find. Oh, I see flowers as well because I think they have this section where they have um, some times of the year you can pick or choose to buy other plants. So lots of sunflowers here. Oh, this is a beautiful, strange looking sunflower. I've never seen that type before. 
sunflower teddy bear or oh, this one is a teddy bear sunflower don't think I've seen that one Where before the there oh, okay. bees 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 different types yeah because look at that light yellow one compared to that and then compared to that they're beautiful though So this is the field, big, nice area and I suppose at some time of the year it's just full of all sorts. Right now we're at the entrance to the field and there isn't much. I can see a few shrubbery plants over on this side but most of it is empty but further up I can see that it's well cultivated and mature. Yes, and a little bit of is it blackberry? blackberry yeah. Yeah. You can mix rhapsody and Black blackberry, blackberry yeah. yes. uh, which should be a stack pass. Um, strawberry. strawberry. You think? Pass. Okay, yeah. yeah. Where is raspberry and blackberry? Raspberry and the blackberry are down there. Okay. And then strawberry, we don't have many strawberry outside. Yeah. But I would suggest to pick in the tunnel if you don't Yes, mind. we don't mind that. Okay. Yeah. All All right. so in addition to the outdoor section that you can pick strawberries at there's a indoor in in a tunnel section lots and lots of places lots and lots of inner tunnel parts where you can pick the strawberries so we think we're going to get strawberries first and that's our tour guide Again, lots of walkie walkie, and they're ahead of me, so I'm trying to catch up. So, this is my first one, not quite ripe, but I'm going so to why taste did you pick it. That one? I want to taste it, I'm just eager. Very sweet. A little tart as well. So it seems like miles and miles of strawberries as far as you can look and walk strawberry plants. Have a look. And we're just in one of the tunnels and there are several tunnels covered over with strawberries hanging oh beautiful even over that hill down the hill and then up again more strawberries looking for a juicy one as my first is it ripe? Not quite. But I'll try this one. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely wow. It's really nice. Mm. Hmm? You think? No use, Lisa. Lots more down further. Okay. So 
Put it back. Now my third one. So, we think we have enough of strawberry picking now, so we're going to blackberries and raspberries, raspberries now. Yeah. Look at the skies! <laughs> Beautiful! Who? Oh? The hills are alive with the sound of music. Raspberry picking. We haven't got to the blackberry field yet. That's what we have so far. So now I'm going towards blackberries. I think we have enough raspberries. We definitely have a punnet of strawberries. So now blackberries. And these are what they look like. So the dark ones like this, those are ripe and ready. And then they're this color when they're not quite ripe yet. So this is what we're going after. that there juicy goodness in here please that's it we have enough now yeah okay so we have our punnet of raspberries and blackberry mix and also a punnet of strawberries so we're going to check out now and then look for a, a lovely spot to sit down <laughs> it's a long big whole property with acres and acres and acres of fruits there is a maze as well a maze yeah maze maze oh, fairy, fairy trail. yeah the julian says there's a fairy trail pumpkin patch i suppose in yeah, autumn and I've noticed that there are some flowers and I noticed as well some underground, not underground, some tunnel areas that are not open right now. So I think they have other things now. Well, not now, but later on in the season. So tired and we're going to find somewhere to sit down and relax and chill and perhaps use the restroom. So we've decided that we are going to have lunch here. The menu has just arrived. Um, and these are the fruits that we've got. So, let me show you. 
And those are our fruits. And there's John, and there's the menu. And you turn it around here. Yeah. So that's the menu we're going to choose now and then have something. To so lunch has arrived, well at least two of them. So that's my jacket potato with cheese and beans and a little side salad. And that's Julian's delicious looking burger. Double, double burger with chips. And onion rings. And that's Joe's. And onion rings. It's not there yet. And oh yeah, and onion rings on top. That looks lovely. Pepper? Uh, yeah, it'll be in the cook and we put in a second. Alright, thank you. <laughs> and that's Joe's, which is chicken potato, tuna, and that's it, mayo, tuna mayo. Tuna mayo. And a little side salad. Right, so we have finished our meal. We're just waiting outside now before we go home. Just having a little chill. Um, ratings for this. Joe is there, by the way, oh, and yes. Julian's here. Right. So rating for the whole experience, I'd say nine. I quite enjoyed walking the fields and picking our own fruit, and being able to eat as much as you want. It was a bonus. And for my food rating, I had jacket potato with cheese and beans, baked beans, and a drink, and a little salad. side salad, yeah. I'd rate it a 9 as well. It was okay. It was tasty. Yeah, so 9. Julian? The whole thing I'll rate an 8. Okay. Um, if they had like more things, like rather than just three options of things to pick, it would have been better because mm -hmm. it's like it came and done so quick yeah but i think it's seasonal yeah. fruits and vegetables you know are seasonal so that's why and then the food I'll also give it an eight okay it was i got a burger it was hot but it was too big like it was it had Chunky. two two burger but two burgers yeah, yeah two patties so and it was so hot that you couldn't eat it easily yeah okay um, so that took away from it but overall it was nice okay and joe's rating my rating for the overall experience is a 10 it was quite lovely it's a lovely day the place is nice um staff are friendly and helpful the atmosphere is okay it's clean and decent as well for my meal i rate it a uh, seven I had a jacket potato as well, but I chose to go with tuna mayo as the filling and um, it was cold. I didn't think of that, that the topping would be cold, the filling would be cold. But overall it was okay. It was a really good experience and we strongly recommend yeah. Mana Farm. Is it called just, just Mana, Mana, Mana Farm? Mana fruits. Mana Farm. And the cafe is the strawberry cabin. Yeah. It's the cafe where we had lunch and that was nice, the strawberry cabin so thank you so much for being here with us today on another wednesday day date we thoroughly enjoyed this one we hope you enjoy what we had to offer as well and we'll see you again sometime soon for another wednesday day date do remember to like subscribe share and again we must say thank thanks, you so much thanks, thanks. for 1k, 1K subscribers so onwards and upwards from now on bye Take your time.